he is one of the most powerful advisors and gatekeepers in Trump's inner circle. But now the business dealings of Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, are coming under scrutiny. New York Times reporting that a week after the election, Kushner met with the head of China's Ambang Insurance Group. Now, Ambang is in talks to partner with Kushner on one of New York's top office towers, 666 Fifth Avenue, which the Kushners bought for a record $1.8 billion in 2007. Now, Ambang has been in the news for its aggressive U.S. buying spree and concerns over its opaque ownership. Now, it bought New York's famed Waldorf Astoria uh, for just under $2 billion, but deals to buy the Starwood Hotel chain and the Hotel de Coronado in San Diego both collapsed amidst questions over national security and the company's ties to the Chinese government. Now, one of Kushner's other lenders, an Israeli bank, is under investigation by the Justice Department. Ethics, ethics lawyers saying Kushner's business ties and his role as advisor to the president could pose potential conflicts of interest. Now, Kushner's attorney says in a statement that Jared is, quote, committed to complying with federal ethics laws and may resign from his family company and divest substantial assets in accordance with federal guidelines. He would also recuse himself from matters that would affect his financial interests. Now, the Kushner companies, not as well known as the Trump companies, but uh, in some ways they are larger. They own 20,000 apartments and over 14 million square feet of office space in the U.S. They have made more than $7 billion in acquisitions in recent years, much of that in downtown Manhattan. And, guys, much of the scrutiny now on where the money for that $7 billion in deals may have come from and who those le big lenders might be. Guys, back to you. Yeah. Uh, is his father still involved with the company, too? Charles, Charles is involved. Remember, uh, he went to prison after a scandal involving campaign contributions, ironically, to Democratic candidates in New Jersey. Uh, but Charles had taken a back seat as Jared took over the company sometime around 2008, 2009. Now, if Jared steps back, perhaps Charles would become the formal CEO. That, that is unclear. But Charles has retained an important role in the company. Um, and if Jared steps aside, big questions of who would officially run it, whether that's Charles or maybe uh, Jared's brother. But, but like the Trump Organization, this is a tight-knit family business that is a little difficult to unwind and extract one family member from. Yeah. Not to mention, of course, Anbang of all the companies uh, shrouded in a lot of mystery. Exactly. Which I tried to learn a bit about when they were a bidder for Starwood. Of course, then they just left the scene uh, on that deal, allowing Marriott to come in. But uh, very interesting stuff, Robert. Thank you. I know we'll be following this Absolutely. as we move along. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.